Hello. As always, may you have a good day. Good day in the Lord. We begin the season of Lent. Life rolls on. As we go, hopefully, each and every day, closer and closer to the Lord. In the first reading from Deuteronomy, this is written, of course, from the point of view of the Hebrews. They say, we were nothing much. He has made us great. We were oppressed, and God freed us. We have been given this wonderful land, the land of Israel. In other words, they started off very small. My father was a wandering Aramean who went down to Egypt with a small household. There, we, he, my father, became a great nation, strong and numerous. We were oppressed and then made victorious by God's mighty hand. We were given a great and wonderful land, flowing with milk and honey. They have grown because the Lord has given them growth, becoming more and more because the Lord gave it, gave it all to them. Jesus, you know, always important to remember, he's both God and man. As God, he's absolutely perfect. You can't improve on genuine perfection. It's already, it was always there and always will be. But as a human being, he grew in every way as we grow. And he was brought out to the desert by the Spirit for the temptations. And the temptations, it's a difficult thing to understand. Temptations demand that we change. That we don't maintain always a status quo. That we either grow or diminish. It's a divide in the road. We have to make a decision. Are we going to become more or are we going to become less? Temptations are a time that test us. And if before we come into the temptation, we have been little by little growing, being strengthened in the Lord, we'll meet the temptations well. But if we have been just cruising along, not caring much to develop, losing that inner strength in the Lord, temptations will find us wanting. And there's a very good chance we will lose out in the temptation. The Lord faces the devil, the first temptation. Be the Lord of my life. That's what the, the devil is tempting him. Change that bread. Go and do whatever you want with the power you have. Be the Lord of your own life. And Jesus is saying, no, God is the Lord of my life. Then the, then the second temptation. It's just natural to uh, be tempted by all the things that the devil has tempted him with. But he says, no. I do not do your will, dear devil. I do God's will. Then the third temptation. May God do your will. Which is, uh, which is that expression, tempting God, means. When he says, no, 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 no. God's will is to be obeyed. And he is God. And I am not. I'm not going to tell God what to do. And so the devil goes away. And interestingly enough, in the scriptures, it says, for a time. You can always depend on the devil to come back in time. And especially if we're doing well in the Lord. He 
is angry at us. And he's energized against us. He'll come back. He'll be back, be certain of that. He will not leave us, will, did not leave Jesus himself alone. In the third reading, St. Paul writing to the Romans, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. The first section there I understand to mean, Dear Lord, be the Lord of my life. In other words, be the one who's in charge of me. Be the one who, who tells me what to do. Be the Lord who shows me the way and I follow your will. Help me to belong to you, to nothing and to no one else. That's what it means to confess Jesus is Lord. And secondly, that Jesus raised him from the dead. Believe it in your heart, with all your heart. It's to grow in that belief day after day. And not just do it something you say in your head, but have it imbued in your heart. Give me your life daily, dear Lord, so that my life is your life within me. So that the breath of your life, dear Holy Spirit, is the life I live within me. Help me to grow spiritually. Give me that character, that uh, sort of bone structure that only you can give me. So that who I am is who you have made me to be, whom you have made me to be. God bless you daily in this wonderful adventure of growing more and more in the Lord.